we are north of Coleman Creek. And even farther north is the Star of the West property. These are a few cells that I've held for a while now where we're finding massive calcopyrite pyrotite and pyrite and float rocks on this creek. Farther down by the road, there is a scar in occurrence exposed over 30 meters and about 0 0.6 meters wide. So what we decided to do today is hike up this, fill in the gap a bit between Star of the West and these cells. See what we can find up here. The creek is completely dry, has been for several months. So let's get to hiking. That's the road down there. We're about 100 meters up the creek, climbed 50 meters elevation. First sample here, similar to the ones we found down at the bottom. Broke that open. You can see pyrite, pyrotite, and calcopyrite. You can see the actinolite here, pyrotite, calcopyrite in here. This is definitely scarring. Disseminated mineralization, semi massive in some areas. More mineralized scarn. We are on the right track. We are now finding volcanics with disseminated pyrite and calcopyrite. So this is an interesting little area here. This almost looks like this piece of outcrop was taken out. This is scarn in here, no mineralization. But you do have some mineralization in the volcanics beside it. You have volcanics, a very narrow one to two centimeter quartz vein, and you have disseminated pyrite, very minor calcopyrite in the volcanics, and then you have a very rusty looking deteriorated quartz vein. So this is quite interesting. We are up about 200 meters from the road and this was supposed to Y off and we we're gonna go up the left side of the creek. We can't find the left side of the creek. The whole mountainside had washed out about six years ago and we had first came up here, but we can't find that washout anymore. Perhaps it's overgrown. And uh, we went up the right hand side, or at least what we think is the right hand side now, and came across this. A bridge in the middle of the creek which is about three lanes wide. So we're gonna go and uh, see if we can find a road above this. It's very interesting. So this is the bridge here and we're actually on an old road. This is a very, very old road. Easily 70 plus years old. This is the creek going up. Completely dry. There's a old trail tag. We got bedrock over here. We're gonna walk on the road for a little bit before we go up uh, the creek a little farther. So, on the road, not 50 meters, we have come across a very interesting showing here. Pyrite, pyrotite, and calcopyrite 
in a rock sample I just found down here. So we're going to chip some off and see what's here. We took off a whole bunch of rock here to get a better sample. So it looks like you have a one meter wide exposure scarn disseminated pyrite, calcopyrite and pyrite. And uh, striking 145 dip of 90 degrees, which would take it to almost in line with where the creek is. And uh, that first little area that looked like had been blasted out, we've got some samples here. You can see the disseminations, and you have stringers of pyrotite. following your lens. Nice little mineralized lens here. Got our sample, let's see what else we can find. All right, another 50 meters farther. We found a couple patches of sulfides underneath the moss covered walls. This is a very steep slope going down and we are about 200 meters above the main road. But take a look at this. Boulder. Massive sulfides. Pyrite, pyrotite and calcopyrite. This is a scar and boulder here. Looks to be a couple hundred kilograms and it is very much mineralized. Almost all mineralization and little rock. Take a look at these beautiful samples from this boulder here. There's magnetite, pyrotite, pyrite, calcopyrite, and there is quartz, sugary quartz. And take a look at this, not 10 meters away. You have an exposure. Unfortunately, there is a lot of uh, this till and stuff over top that's sloughed down, but we'll try and get a sample anyway. So it's a 0 0.4 meter wide area that's exposed back in there. Everything else here is sloughed down all this till covering it so it's likely wider because every time we dig same mineralization and it is massive sulfides you can see a couple pieces here massive pyrite calcopyrite and pyrotite again And there is some magnetite. See the coarse pyrite in there? This is definitely scarn. There is quartz associated with this though. Seem to be quartz veins or something cutting through. So, you can see exposed there to there, 
now about 0.75 of a meter wide. Strike of 120 degrees, dipping 70. And what it looks like is you have garnets, actinolite, scarn, and pyrite, calcopyrite, and pyrotite with some magnetite. So we have a, a nice sample from here already. Semi-massive to massive. And on the outskirts it's disseminated. We're walking farther on the road. And this sort of looks like it's a fairly well-walked trail in the middle of nowhere. So I don't know where this leads to, but it's definitely walked. And you have cut sticks. So, kind of interesting. I wonder if this leads down to the main road. The last showings we were at were on the right-hand side of the creek, if you're walking up the creek. And we decided to go back, check the other side. We are just to the left of the creek now. You can see another showing, which is roughly four meters wide. And from what I'm seeing, there are sulfides. So let's dive into this and see what we can find. We have uh, what looks like thunder and lightning over us. <laughs> right over top of the mineralized magnetic showing. <laughs> so here's the area over there where I was looking for samples. Disseminated mineralization continues over here. As you can see, disseminated, semi-massive, and you have patches of calcopyrite in there, pyrite and stringers of pyrotite. A couple more samples we pulled off. So I think this is good for a sample for this area. As you can see, it started raining Trying to come down a new way. There's another creek a few hundred meters from that one we came up, which we're going down because it looks like it's closer to the road. Lots of loose rocks here though. Made it down to the bottom. We're out the main road. Walk back and we'll have a quick look at a scarn showing that's up about 10-15 meters above the road, back where we parked. The road we're walking on was 200 meters above us. As you can see outcropping here down on the main road you have limestone. Limestone here to the left of the creek. This is the creek we walked up in the very beginning where we found massive sulfide samples all the way from up there going all the way up to the road at 200 meters above. Over here you have limestone remnants of an added up there and you can see faulted off here you have Scar and showing up there with massive sulfides. The showings that we found up on the road, the first two are on this side of the creek. Similar strike of this. So that's it. That's the day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.